We start with a point. Hi, it's Rob Bryanson. Welcome back. Uh, looking at another poll question here, just a reminder, if you go to tensedimension.com slash blog, we always have polls running and uh, there'll be some for you to answer right now. We're looking at one today that ended on March 10th, 2009. It was uh, number 35 in the series and the question was, our 4D universe comes from a 5D hologram. Asked whether people agreed or disagreed, 71% agreed. This poll question connects to two blog entries published in January. The first, Slices of Reality, talked about interference patterns and provided a fascinating visualization of just such a pattern that resulted from the unique way an iPhone takes its pictures. The blog entry that followed, The Holographic Universe, talks about the exciting new evidence from the Geo 600 project that appears to confirm one of the central ideas my project is based upon. Our reality is not continuous. Rather, it is divided into Planck unit-sized frames of space-time. Some people look at this and presume it only refers to the Planck length, 10 to the minus 35 meters. That's only a measurement of 3D space. A 4D frame of space-time has length, width, depth, and duration, and its size in all four dimensions is determined by Planck's constant. Understanding this immediately gives us a way to understand the string theory idea that our experience of the fifth dimension and above is curled up at the Planck length. It's because of the granular nature of space-time, which means we can only view the fifth dimension through these Planck unit-sized grains of space-time, which occur one after another on our 4D line of time, giving us the illusion of the continuously existing reality we see around us. There's much more to discuss about all this. Please read my entry, The Holographic Universe, for more. That's all for this time around. Next time we're going to look at poll 36, which uh, the question was, do plants use quantum effects?